Hi, Magic. Good to see you. Good to see you. And you must be Annie? Yes. Yeah. Hi. 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 Nice to, nice meet, to you. meet you. I'm Corey. Hi. And I'm a family doctor. And as you know, I've also been working with Magic um, to be his doctor. So um, Magic tells me that the two of you are talking about wanting to start a family. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been, we've been talking about it, throwing it around, seeing if we're ready. It's really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, so I wanted to talk about sort of some of the ways to think about starting a family um, that will help you to make that possible. Uh, do you have any questions to start out with? Um, I guess we just want to know like the, what, if, what if any, if there's any risks involved mm -hmm. and what we can do to make those as low as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> sure, we can talk about that. Mm -hmm. So the first thing um, that's really important, and, and Magic's already doing this, is um, to take the HIV medicine to make sure that your viral load is undetectable. Mm -hmm. So you're doing that. We know that you have a viral load that's you know undetectable. And so that is really important to lower the risk of sharing HIV, either with Annie or with the baby, um, if and when Annie gets pregnant. So you've already done the most important thing in this process. Um, so the risk then when, when magic, when you have an undetectable viral load of Annie getting HIV is like slim to none, um, as long as neither of you has other infections, like sexual infections, and as long as, as you're taking your medicine every day. So that's really good to know. Mm -hmm. um, do you have any questions about that so far? No, so far that sounds pretty good. He's been doing mm -hmm. Good, so that's good. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, the other thing is, so we know that in terms of um, having a baby that uh, doesn't have HIV, that it's really important for the, the woman who's carrying the baby, or the mom, to um, not to either control her HIV or, or not have HIV herself. So we've already talked about the first step um, in terms of lowering that risk. The other thing though is that there is, you may have heard of this, some people who are not living with HIV take a medication um, of one pill a day to lower their risk of getting HIV. And it's called PrEP. I don't know, have you ever heard of that before? I think I've heard I've heard about it. Yeah? Does he talk about it before? Okay. So in that case, if Annie, if you felt like you wanted some like added bonus protection, um, you could start taking a medication called Truvada every day, and that would help um, even lower your risk further of getting HIV yourself. Okay. Um, and to do that, you'd want to start taking that at least a month before you started trying to get pregnant, um, and so that would be an important part of the plan. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Um, have you have you started trying to get pregnant yet? We've, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah? yeah, yeah. And how have you have you been doing that? Like, have you been paying attention to anything in particular, or we've been mostly paying attention to his viral load mm -hmm. and him getting undetectable. Mm -hmm. um, so just making sure he's healthy, um, and then also trying to make sure that I stay healthy with all the stuff that like girls do to get pregnant. Right. You know, Good. stop drinking, stop smoking, all that yeah. kind of stuff too, so. Maybe taking prenatal vitamins? Yep. Okay, yep. great. Um, and then the other thing would be, that, and uh, maybe you're already doing this, but to pay attention to your, um, your cycle so that you can know when you're ovulating, so when your body is releasing the eggs when you're ovaries. She does that. She has an app that you have app. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's an app for that, <laughs> for sure. Um, and, um, and then making sure that you're having more sex, uh, you know, that there's more that will increase the, the, the chance that you could get pregnant. I think we're um, okay by on doing that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, great. Um, so it sounds like um, sounds like you're doing all the right things. I don't know. Are you interested in taking prep at yeah, all? Yeah, I was gonna ask you what like what comes with prep. Like, what is it exactly? So what we have now for prep is a pill. It's called uh, Truvada. Okay. Um, it's a combination of two medications in one pill that work against HIV. And we use this pill um, as part of a treatment regimen for people who are living with HIV. It's one of the medications we might use to treat HIV, but in this case, it can also be used to prevent HIV. So um, 
some of the possible risks from this medication um, are that it can make people, I guess side effects, make people sometimes feel like upset stomach, nauseous, they might have some diarrhea when they first start taking it, but that's usually their body getting used to the medicine. Okay. And then um, after, usually within a week or so, those side effects would go away. Okay. Um, it's helpful to take it with food uh, so that that will help to absorb it, but also to prevent those side effects. Um, there, I there are some slight risks um, of using this medication uh, for kidney health, so sometimes it can stress the kidneys, but we would monitor your kidney function and health very closely while you're taking it to make sure that's not happening. Okay. Um, and we know that it's been shown to be safe during pregnancy um, and that it shouldn't have any harmful effects on the fetus or the baby. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. That sounds really good to me. Okay. Yeah? Okay. I think we're ready. <laughs> so part of that, um, before you would start that, we want to make sure that you have an HIV test mm -hmm. um, and some other tests to check your kidney function and for um, hepatitis B, just to make sure that um, that you're set all set to use the Truvada just as prep. Okay. When was uh, your last HIV test? Last one would be three or four months ago. Okay. So and have you been getting tested regularly? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, kind of on my own. I haven't really been sharing that with him oh. until recently. I've been kind of going on my own to process it myself, yeah. but yeah, it's been about every three or four months. Okay, good yep. for you. Yeah. I think that's a really good choice. Yeah. Um, so it sounds like the two of you are interested in um, conceiving a baby together through, you know, having intercourse, having sex, which is Fantastic. The best way. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, just want to let you know that there are other ways that people can get pregnant. Um, hopefully this will work really well and you'll get pregnant really soon and, and you will have a healthy pregnancy. Um, hmm? <coughs> For the other ways, what are those? So the other ways would be, um, so sometimes um, men who are living with HIV can have their sperm washed, so that it would involve um, a laboratory actually taking the semen uh, and and basically um, processing it so that there was no HIV in the semen, and then using that semen um, to put it inside of the partner. Uh, so, like using people call it turkey based or method, yeah, but using kind of like in vitro or. Sort of, kind of like that? Well, this not? would involve, actually that process would involve taking the, the semen, the washed sperm, and putting it inside of the woman's body. Oh, okay. Um, and so it, in vitro would mean in a test tube. Right, right. Um, so in this case, it would be actually using, not using a test tube, but, but having a body, your body or a person's body. Um, in vitro fertilization can also be done though, especially that's considered for people who are having trouble getting pregnant, mm -hmm. so needing either to use an egg from another um, donor or another person or a person's own egg, and then that also involves washing sperm, and then but then doing it in, in a, um, uh, a test tube and then inserting it into the woman's body. Okay. Um, so those are both possibilities. They both are quite expensive, and as you can imagine, just by talking and explaining, they're kind of complicated. And, yeah. Um, and so they are options. I just wanted want you to know that those are available. Cool. Yeah. Okay. I think we'll give the prep a try first. Okay. See how that goes. That sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any other questions about it before we sort of move forward with your testing? No. It sounds. Good, like especially since I'll have the support of the same team he's had, so that sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be great to work with you both through this. Yay, thank yeah, you. I'm excited. <laughs>